Okay, the first initial thing that we do is we're going to take you through our AMP. That's our athletic movement profile. It's basically an assessment that we do on um, each athlete that comes into our facility. Uh, that assessment, we look at uh, fundamental movement patterns. So basically, we want to see how you're moving, just general movement patterns uh, that you need for everyday life. Um, and then we'll get a little more specific. Uh, we look closely at the mobility of certain joints um, and think firing patterns of certain muscles and things like that. After that assessment, um, that gives us the ability to design you uh, a program. Um, we have three different levels. We have phase one, phase two, and phase three. Phase one is what we call our, our foundation level. So we work on building a strong, stable base. So our first thing that we want to fix before anything else is, is mobility. That's key. Once we get mobility, then we can add stability and strength uh, on top of that. And level two is where we do strength and stability. And then level three, we focus on, on power. So now that we've laid that foundation, um, we look at the amp and we make sure that, okay, we've passed everything we need on the amp. So you're safe to move on to level two, get the strength, stability, and then you add power on top of that. Yeah, we, we work very closely with um, you know every instructor that, that we work with. And that gives, we're looking to make their job easier as the golf instructor. So if a student comes to them and you know they can't quite make it to their full rotation of their backswing, then you know we say, okay, why? Do they lack thoracic mobility? Do they have an issue with, with shoulder mobility? Um, or do they lack hip mobility? What's the real issue? And then from there, we can actually make that process easier for the golf instructor to get that individual uh, in a better position uh, more efficiently, uh, quicker. And so it makes them more adaptable to learning. They learn things faster than somebody, you know, if, if the golf instructor has to change what they're doing um, to accommodate the limitation or the restriction that that person has in their body. Thank you.